Aperol Spritz. Do you guys know what an Aperol Spritz is? Have you had one? Do you like it? Do you not? Anyone? Anyone? I know you can't win my glasses. <laughs> Actually, I bought them online. I can give you the link if you want. All right, so this, if you haven't seen it before, you want to sit down with me? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Is an Aperol Spritz. This is one of my favorite things in the world, my favorite drinks, because it's so darn refreshing. Ah. Uh, it's the best thing. These, I don't like my drinks to be watered down, so I have metal um, ice cubes in the bottom there. And Aperol was actually, um, you want to get the bottom? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Aperol was started in 1919 in Italy, and it looks like this. So you can see this one is a little, my drink is a little bit lighter than the actual Aperol is. Okay, so it was started in 1919 by um, Barbier, the Barbieri brothers in Italy, near Venice. Can I drink? Yes, you can drink. <laughs> and, um, well, hold on. That's good. I know. Well, you're getting cut out of this one, though. Okay, get in there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, where was I? Oh, and in 1950, they created the Aperol Spritz. It is so lovely, so refreshing, and really pretty. On oh, so, hey, go, go scroll through the comments on here and pick somebody to win the wine gift certificate. So what is in the Aperol Spritz? It has an orange color, and it does have a bit of an orange flavor. <clears throat> but the weird thing is, it, it's considered a bitter. It's very strange, I have to say. The Aperol is, I don't even know, it's like three different plants and, and, and vegetables, like rhubarb and two other things that I can't pronounce without sounding very stupid. All right. Oksana is our winner. Oksana! Oksana is the winner of the wine gifts card. Woo woo! I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. Good for you, Oksana. Oksana's from a friend from high school, like the sweetest girl ever, ever. And she deserves it, that's for sure. All right, congratulations, Oksana. Chin chin, salute! Uh, what else can we say about it? So yeah, there's these bitter herbs, and the only one I get to give is rhubarb, and I would never think of putting rhubarb in a drink that is actually gonna taste good. But here we are, with an Aperol Spritz. So it's Aperol, Prosecco, and get the Pinot Grigio. So a lot of people put, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, club soda. Club soda into their Aperol Spritz. But we went to this bar like an Italian restaurant by our house, and there's this European bartender, and he told me, Pinot Grigio. He's like, don't put in, because um, his were always so much better than ours, and they were just so much smoother and amazing. And then I was like, what, why, what are you doing that yours is so much better than mine? Pinot Grigio is the trick. I never would have thought of Pinot Grigio. And ironically, this Pinot Grigio is from a scout and cellar, and it's called Que Fico, and that means how cool. How cool. Hey, Fico, that it's in this, <laughs> which I have never seen a recipe online that has this uh, Pinot Grigio as the third ingredient. And it's in, in the three, two, one. So three ounces of Prosecco, two ounces of Aperol, one ounce of the Pinot Grigio. And the most important thing, Eric, you want to talk about the color? Yeah, so if you notice, the Aperol has a, a deep red, see, if it's really too red, then you know you have too much Aperol, and if it's too light, like a, like a yellowish orange, you don't have enough. So the secret is the color. So um, you want a deep, that nice deep orange color, not quite a blood orange, but, a, but like a heavy orange color, and that's how you know you've got the mixture correct. If it's too red or too yellow, you want to um, adjust your mixes to make it that correct color. Okay, can you put this back? 
And then I'm going to talk about the Bella Book Bundle, and then you can come back with your, with your drink. Oh. He's going to come back in a minute with his.